Uh, this week, the whole world was stunned to learn the latest lefty lunacy from here in Australia. When an entire school, at an entire school, all the boys were forced to apologise to the girls for being boys. The story went around the world. And Suzanne Della Bassic, who was the journalist from the Herald Sun who broke the story, she joins us now. Suzanne, great to see you. How are you? Good morning, Rowan. How are you? Yeah, we're really good. This is a great yarn. So tell us about it. Why You wrote that the parents were furious. Tell us why. Sure. So parents contacted me really furious about what had happened. Um, they told me that their sons were forced to stand up in assembly and apologise for their gender. Obviously, in light of what's going on um, across schools at the moment um, with the whole issue of sexual harassment and consent. So there were a lot of disappointed parents because they said that the school didn't notify them beforehand about this assembly. And um, they said, why should their sons all be um, labelled the same? So that's where the outrage was sparked from. Rita. Oh, yes. Well, collective guilt is never a good idea. Now, the principal here has come out and said that, yes, this was well-intentioned, but perhaps making the boys apologise for being born boys was a mistake. Uh, what are you hearing from, from the parents and the school community? Are they happy to move on? Or is this a sign of the sort of indoctrination that we're seeing at schools? Uh, but what, what, do, what have the parents said to you? Oh, the parents are very upset about what's happened. Um, they're quite furious that the that the issue was obviously, um, you know, in a school assembly and that their sons were forced to apologise for things that they had never taken part in. The parents have said that they've got mm. no issue with consent being taught in schools. They've just said that, you know, it's not their sons and why should they apologise? So um, there's a lot of anger coming out of the school. A parent did actually contact me from the school yesterday just to sort of follow up. And um, they were very disappointed um, still that this had taken place. And they're worried that more assemblies and more sort of classes will, will take place like this without parents actually being notified. Well, I'd be pulling the kids out of the school personally, but that would be my choice. James. What um, were these both mothers and fathers who were complaining and what were they saying that their st that their sons were coming home and reporting about that and how they felt about being signaled uh, out singled out as being the member of the gender that is apparently responsible for all the problems in the world. It was mothers and fathers that w were complaining about it. So one boy came home and he said, "Mum." I'm not a rapist. Um, why have I been forced to apologise oh. for this? So, and how old were these kids? Yeah, there by was the a way. lot of disappointment. So, one of the mothers I had spoken to, her son was 13, um, and another mother, oh. her son was 14. So, they were very young, um, and yeah, just very disappointed. So, obviously, being at such a young age in year seven, and you know, just coming home and saying, "Mum and Dad, this has happened." You know, it obviously caused a lot of friction, um, you know, for them. And, and I know that one um, mother I spoke to told me that her son didn't actually want to go to school the next day because of oh, it. So, geez. yeah, it's very sad that it, that it all happened. This, this infuriates me. This is what I was talking about before. You know, the Prime Minister blames the men and boys of Australia for having a cultural problem, and this is the direct result of it. This is what you have done, Scott Morrison. Nice work. Kids, boys, terrified to go to school. Rita? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just disgusted. As a mother of a 13-year-old, I would be utterly furious if he was uh, subjected to this. Now, this story has gone global. Newsweek's picked it up, multiple publications uh, around the world. Uh, uh, so are you getting a little bit of uh, interest? And why do you think this story has uh, captured the world's imagination? Is it just because we have just gone so far in, in, in adopting these uh, collective guilt uh, narratives? I think the story has, yeah, reached obviously everyone across the world because, I mean, it's sort of becoming the new norm and I think parents are feeling that, that, you know, this could be in all schools. Um, now, let me make it clear and say that parents don't have an issue. All the parents I spoke to said, please, like, 
let's talk about consent in light of everything that's happened in the past few weeks. And obviously in the past year at schools, the issue of consent is, you know, is quite, is, is something that I think does need to be discussed. But I think that parents do have the right to be notified. Um, and I think also, you know, parents are also scared that they're going to send their sons or, you know, and, and even daughters to school to sort of take part in these initiatives and that, you know, they're going to come home and they're just going to feel, you know, like they're, you know, that they've been, um, they've been attacked just specifically for their gender. So I think that it's just kind of the fact that this is setting a standard and and that's what I think is the most concerning thing about about why this is, um, yeah, this is, you know, obviously, um, you know, gained interest from the whole world. James. I'm just going to make the point, really, that with women uh, being the mothers here, every time one of these things happens, it must turn so many women off of, uh, you know, this push to have quotas in the Liberal Party or whatever because they see that their own sons are getting blamed. Did you find that the, that, that the parents were just upset about the broader sort of cultural issue uh, that was being raised by this um, in terms of, you know, blaming men? Uh, absolutely. I think parents were just thinking, you know, why are you, why are you saying this about my son? And and I just want to point out too that um, one one mother, um, her son had taken to Snapchat to, um, I think it was actually during when when the actual assembly took place, and he and he said, you know, don't label me as as this. Like I've never taken part in this. Um, a lot of the male students, yeah, they felt very, they felt quite victimized by the whole incident. And and so then obviously again, it makes, you know, parents feel, how can I ensure that my children are, are going to school and that they're that they're feeling safe? Because how can you feel safe after this? Suzanne de Now, talking about sorry, kids sorry, being... Sorry, Rita, I've got to oh, jump in. Gonna... Sorry, sorry, Rita, we've got to move oh. on. Sorry about that. Um, thanks, Suzanne. No thanks problem. so much for your great work, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks so much.